Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and we have a metal horror that came out of one of our guests. She is alive for now, which is, I guess, a thing that can happen. Uh, I thought that they would die. She's, like, trying to wander away. I think this is the first metal horror that we've seen. And it would be great if we could capture it, but we just kind of slaughtered it. Um, okay, looks like someone's going to rescue you. That's great. And in other developments, I was not sure like how high we needed to get in royal rankings or whatever in order to get the royal host quest. So this is like our end game goal was to make it off the world. And we need to be able to satisfy the title requirements of a high stellarch. So I'm pretty sure that means that they're going to need a large throne room as well. And they want a bedroom that's bigger than Kefra's here. Uh, Kefra the second uh actually let's let's put that down here does that work yeah okay so and oh where is it down here someone also pointed out that if keffer dies lacello is the designated heir i just like didn't catch it while i was like panicking yesterday uh lacello is a male so we might want to change that Kefra, do you have, who are your, like, closest relatives? Your mother and your father. Brother is Remy. Sister is Cody. Um, where is Cody at? Are you interesting? You're not super interesting. What other relatives? Scorpion, Ion, Eerie... Uh, Lasser, are you interesting? No, you're not. Okay. And let's see. Oh, Gabi, uh, you've been very helpful, but you're not super interesting. I'm not sure who we'll change it to, but we'll figure that out. We got a new Silent level for Eerie. Psy casting, you're cool on that tree. Let's go ahead and just upgrade you. Let's take a look at our anomaly research. And what's new? Philophagy, blood rain, neurosis pulse. No, it's probably this stuff down here, like the biofarite generator. Oh, we can draw shamblers now. I guess we can research that. We did have a couple a couple. We had a huge wave of sight stealers, but we we're able to capture a couple. One of the our own got loose and we killed it. So that's kind of what's going on with this room right now. I am kind of annexing these parts of the mountains. I, we just need more space, I guess. I'm thinking that maybe we make this the High Stellarks room and we will do we'll like connect these so that they end up being like that. And that should be a huge room for the High Stellar. Potentially we could stick their throne over here. I am a little worried about the, them having their throne in their bedroom, like on the outside of our base. But more importantly, like we need to keep ourselves uh, insulated on the inside of our base. So I think that'll be the plan for now. Toma's doing all right. Pretty good moods. Uh, someone pointed out that they had the psychic sense, like the psychic soothe pulse that we rocked, but it was just showing as a zero. Um, they are here just for like a couple more days, right? Yeah, a day and a half. So we're going to get them out of here and we are going to start trying to progress the base to a state where we can start hosting the High Stellar. We are growing another little guy. Uh, what are you? I think you are, I think you're like a prime insect or whatever. Uh, this guy, insectoid paragon. And all these guys have animal controllers in them, right? Yeah. The mega spiders or black spiders, most of them do as well. I think it failed on one of them. So we will work on that. Okay, the shuttle has arrived for our current guests. Let's see. Just two more. Where are you at, dude? Get on the shuttle. No path. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I 
Okay, get out of, get out of there. Um, let's go ahead and mine this and this. But they have a way out once that wall gets rebuilt. I'm thinking bedroom, throne room. Um, the requirements are pretty wild for the high cell arc. Uh, we can not pause the game right now. Um, if we go here, high cell arc bedroom, 140 tiles, impressiveness 200, like that's fine. Um, drapes times six, plant pots times eight, armchairs times two, large royal rugs, grand royal rugs, candelabras, small imperial sculptures, royal mirror, uh, stellarks. Okay, they're going to need a meditation throne and 340 tiles. I don't think this is going to be big enough. Um, hmm. Where are we going to stick their throne room? How big is this room? Spacious 347. Okay, well, maybe we move Kefra's throne room into here and then make this the High Stellarx throne room. Are you guys out of here yet? Goodbye. Okay, nobles left healthy. Shuttles arrived at their core. Perfect. Um, we're going to need a lot of cloth. We have how much cloth? 1,232. I think I'm going to have to send some people out to caravan. Zoga, you have far skip. Is that right? No, Odia has far skip. Okay, so Odia and a couple people. Okay, restock timers are a ways out. This one's just two days away. This one is 11 days away. Do we have anyone else nearby? Not really. I don't know if they'll sell cloth. We could have a look, I guess. So we'll send a caravan. Um, Odia... Kefra is going to have to come. No, actually, we have Babu, who's like a knight or whatever now. Uh, okay, so that's a couple guns. Let's send... Uh, Ghana has been crazy good for us. Kurda, why not? And Denny. We'll send the rhinos. And then we'll figure out what to sell them. We have tons of silver, I believe. I think we might have like 11,000. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've already run out of cloth. <laughs> um, we traded with these guys we bought cloth from, these guys we bought cloth from. Five days and we can come down here and see what cloth they have. I've swapped out all our hydroponics from corn to cloth and I've set this area to allow sewing or harvesting so we're pretty good on food right now uh trying to fit all the stuff in here is wild um we need a crazy amount of columns we need a crazy amount of banners and drapes we haven't even started on the steels or the artwork yet but this is like super crowded what is going on with raiku oh you are you an alcoholic um chemical interest so she must have gone on a binge and blacked out unfortunately unfortunately she's also she's also like got together with babu which i'm like uh it's fine it's fine he's having a hard time so we can we can ha let him kind of grieve however he's going to grieve uh the Ballroom needs to be a lot bigger, so we're going to expand it down into the storage room. I walled all this off. We're going to move the storage room over here. We are... Gallery also needs to be bigger, so I put doors um, here and here and also here. And so we will just, like, fill this hallway area up with fine flooring, and that should get us good on that. Um, we're going to also have to, like, fine floor the ballroom area, too, so... Uh, that's going to be even more materials. We are, we are doing a lot of construction work right now. I'm also going to take this down, uh, just to extend the throne room out a little bit more. Cause we're, oh, we're like barely there with this being the throne room for the high stellar. Okay. Some updates. We moved Babu and 
Rikio, as well as Ghana over here into what used to be in a, a containment room. Um, we need so much cloth to get this flooring done. This will be the uh, bedroom, not the bedroom, the throne room that we move Kefra into. Uh, we built a new throne up here. I'm realizing that this is just like way too cramped. So um, we're going to tear this wall down to extend this throne room up. We'll reorganize some of this stuff here. The bedroom for the high Stellark needs to be floored and we need to get these plant pots in it. I think Serta's working on the second piece of art. We need two small imperial sculptures. Sculptures. Uh, you can see one back there behind what Denny's working on. There we go. Um, and then that will be all set. We have the ballroom um, floored. Uh, I think we probably want to put some more drapes up down here. We're working on some organs. We'll stick one down here and then we'll stick one in the throne room as well. The art gallery is all floored. It's not super impressive, but um, hopefully it'll meet our needs. The gallery requirement needs to be 160 tiles. Uh, this is 203. Impressiveness needs to be 240. So we probably need to get some more art in here. Uh, maybe we could do like some pillars and some drapes and stuff and that'll help. Uh, if that's the case, I might go ahead and just like tear these walls down. Um, you know, making a room bigger makes it more impressive, but then that would give us some space to put up like some drapes and some pillars and all that fun stuff. It has been quite the slog. We are mining lots of marble. We are hopefully growing lots of cotton. Okay, we're gonna have Kefra call in some traders. We have a few people that we're allied with, so let's go ahead and request a trade caravan and bulk goods. Hopefully they show up with cloth and blocks. Let's disconnect. Um, you, we are also allied with. Let's do bulk trader as well. Disconnect and does the Shattered Empire do bulk trade? No. Okay, so just those two, and then it is, I think, eight days. A whole quadrum there, eight days before we can trade with Theodore again. Okay, the traders have arrived. We've got some cloth, we've got some slate block blocks that we could turn into uh, marble. Is there anything else that we might want from them? I don't think so. Okay, and that was Babu. He's off to the second group. We will see if they also have the same. They have some cloth. And do you have blocks? I don't see blocks. No blocks. Okay, not super helpful, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Maybe we can, like, dump a little bit off on them as well. Oh, maybe not those. Let's go ahead. Yeah, good enough. Okay. Let's grab this cloth and like haul it in urgently along with these blocks and see if that can help accelerate some of this. Oh my gosh. It is basically our first nemesis. <laughs> Uh, we have a man-hunting pack of crystal crabs, 29 of them. We have not seen these guys in a while, uh, but in the earlier part of the game, uh, these guys were devastating. Uh, hard at work still. Uh, I've decided to bring this wall down. We've moved this throne over, uh, and securing this extra space up here is making this feel a lot better. Um, Oh, mechanoids. Why don't you guys go ahead and hide inside? Uh, who else? You are fine, but let's tell you to stay uh, at home. Okay, you are. And let's speed things up here. 29 of these guys. Growth moment for... Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have here. I guess... Greedy is fine. They have pretty impressive bedrooms. It's better than Jealous. 
We'll do shooting, crafting, and just two for you. Okay. Uh, good call, Mammoth Worms. Why don't you guys all come out here and just, like, line up for me right there? Uh, Babu, go ahead and summon a queen. Eerie, where are you at? Right there. Why don't you do the same? Oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to walk over this. Okay. Um, well, that'll be interesting. What can we do? Okay, it, they can make it over the pillar. It's just these guys that they can't make it over. Um, oh man, we could like come around and, and flank them. Let's see what the, how the queens do against them. Oh, the queens aren't even like moving. Okay, Mammoth Worms, where are you? You are there. Let's get you guys in here. Oh, this Mammoth Worm. Oh, it must have just like grown up. We have not installed a controller on it yet. Okay, you guys down this way. Actually, like right in there. We'll have our... Oh, no, they can make it. Okay, uh, everyone back into position. Uh, mammoth worms. Line up for me. Okay, maybe some fire will help. And the stuns will definitely help. The queens are not doing much of anything. They don't seem to be too worried about manhunters. Oh, they like almost baited me out because I didn't think that they could walk over these guys. Actually, let's deconstruct those anyway, just in case there are problems with future Manhunters not being able to walk over that. Uh, Mammoth Worms, why don't we send you guys to... Like, can you search and destroy? I can set search and destroy, but they won't actually do it. Let's have you guys go out. Oh, I wonder if they won't search and destroy because these guys, like, aren't hostile to animals. Oh, that's an interesting strategy. Okay. Oh my gosh, the mammoth worms. <laughs> Amazing. Good job. I uh, will let you guys do your thing. And yeah, back to construction we go. Okay, we just invited our allies over again for trading. Um, we are so close to having the cloth that we need. I have been looking up the traders, though, and we have some deserters that showed up. So what is it? There is a group up here. So there's one tra like one deserter next to our base, two right there. Um, and then there's another group down here. That looks like it might be a deserter. No, that's just riot gear. Okay, so we need to keep an eye on our nobles. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe just have them hang out like in the throne room or something together. So let's do a new area, area three. Let's just like have you guys chill in there for the moment. Um, and it could be that they're after any of our nobles, right? So let's have you guys and some armed guards. Kefra, Babu. Uh, who else has a title? Acolyte. I think it might just be those few. And Kurta and Remy, why don't you guys hang out in there? And then we will keep an eye on these deserters to see if they, like, try and plant a bomb or if they, like head towards our kitchen or something. And we'll see what happens.
Okay, it looks like they're actually on the move. Let's go ahead and grab our folks. Let's get them centralized. So two of them and then, the, yeah, there was a third. Okay, Kefra, let's, we don't really have much cover or anything here. Um, you guys stand there. Let's have you guys actually stand at the door and we'll put you guys on search and destroy. So they're trying to walk right into our throne room. Ooh, Kefra, I don't like this. Um, hmm. Can someone do something? Why don't you cast invisibility on Kefra? Okay, yeah, they were like going for Kefra and now they can't see her, so they're confused. Um, Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ooh, clean sweeper. <laughs> okay, explosive belt. Oh my gosh. Threat is over. We are good to go. That was that was really close. Like, you know, she's just a child. I'm sure that they could have like one shot her. Eerie took a lot of damage. He lost an arm. Ooh, I think we have extra arms because we've been giving people bionic arms. Install arm. What shoulder is that? Left arm? And Denny is down. Oh, his spine is shattered. We have some bionic spines, though. Install bionic spine. Rocha, just like some superficial damage. Serta, just some superficial damage. Okay, well... I think that <laughs> we're like so close to the end. I'm hoping tomorrow we'll come back with all of this finished. We'll accept the quest for our end game and we will we will see what we can do to like wrap things up before the weekend. Um, it's definitely time. People are trying to make attempts on our lives in our throne rooms. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. As always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.